The Earth's last great frontier. We have better maps of Mars and the Moon than the ocean floor, but we may be close to mining there. Representatives from many of the world's nations are now together in Kingston, Jamaica, as part of the International Seabed Authority's annual meeting to talk about if or when that should happen. There was pressure from some countries for regulations on mining to be decided during these meetings so that commercial extraction could begin. But the International Seabed Authority has now decided it needs more time to decide on the code, likely until at least 2025. Costa Rica and other countries have been pushing for a delay in the rules. We cannot accept artificial dates. We will finish when we're ready to finish the value of the ocean, which is which belongs to humanity, is larger than any investment. And we need to be able to, to look uh, to our children and grandchildren in their eyes and know that we did what was right. Many conservationists want to see more than just a temporary delay on rules, a longer term moratorium on deep sea mining altogether. And this activity would result in species extinctions, and could potentially impact uh, the ocean's climate regulatory functions, including carbon cycling and storage. On the other side, the metals company has been pushing to begin mining. It says that its operation would be localised in one small area of the clarion Clipperton zone between Hawaii and Mexico, and that sediment displacement, which critics say would cloud water for thousands of kilometres, would not reach nearly so far. Last year, MIT published three peer-reviewed papers which confirmed that the sediment on the seafloor only rises about two metres above the ocean floor and up to 98% of it settles in the test area. A note on that, environmentalists say there would also be a separate, potentially large sediment discharge from the collection ship. Gerard Barron also says that the metals found on the seabed are essential, not least for green transport like electric cars and that it's better to get them from there than elsewhere. What we have to pursue is where can we get a secure supply of these important base metals and battery metals with the lightest planetary touch and the lightest human touch. And from our investigation, there's only one answer. Across this debate, the key questions remain. Do we need to mine the deep sea bed? And if so, can it wait till we're sure about its impact on the planet? John Holman, Al Jazeera.